Hey guys, Nick from Scope Training. Um, today we're going to talk about positive risk. This throws a lot of people off. Um, for most people, we associate risk with the chance for loss, chance of harm, basically the probability that something bad will happen. So, is there such a thing as a positive risk? Well, according to the new standards, which is ISO 3100-2009, which is when it came out, risk is defined as the uncertainty on objectives. And that can be an effect, whether negative or positive. So effectively, if we have a deviation, whether negative or positive, to our objectives, that's a risk. You're still not buying this? I'll throw you some examples of positive risks, um, just so you can sort of scintillate in your mind a bit more. All right, new technology. So if our current project was limited or impeded by the current technology, a positive risk may be the emergence of technology that, exists, that assists us in improving our delivery. It makes our project better. It was something that occurred from the external environment that's actually assisted us or changed our objectives in a positive manner. Changes in legislation can be another one. So let's say our business was to consult on sustainable practices. And then one day the government decided, well, let's make this legislation that everyone needs to incorporate these practices. You're like, awesome. All right, and that can be seen as a positive risk event. Changes in consumer behavior, this happens all the time. So your business or your project sells organic produce and the way society sort of migrated, it's actually been a greater demand for your goods. That's a positive risk. A negative risk would have been that going the other way. People wanting convenience over the organic stuff. Other examples, fundings, grants, collaborations, sponsorships, who knows, you might be digging a trench on a project and you find gold. Positive risk. So basically a positive risk is an opportunity. Effectively, these should be treated in the same manner as negative risks or conventional risks. As a side note, risk management is dynamic and like a set of dominoes, if one thing happens on your project, it may have the potential to make everything else tumble or affect a lot of other things. So a positive risk can actually turn into a negative risk. Right, now I'm complicating things and for that I apologise. Easy an example to round it off. You've got an e-commerce site um, which you sell heaps and heaps of stuff um, and for the next 24 hours you're offering a crazy sale with ridiculous bargains. All right? Now due to social media etc the word has spread faster than you ever expected. Instead of 5,500 visitors you expected you now find you've got 50,000. Logging into your site. Positive risk right? an event which has impacted on your objectives in a positive manner. But the reality of the situation is it might actually go into negative risk. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Next thing you know, your server crashes due to the mass of the traffic. Now your site is down and not even five people can buy your product. So while it's important to plan for success and harness your opportunities, we need to work within our constraints, our limitations, and also have measures in place to present prevent the positive risks from turning to negative risks. Hopefully that's helped you understand and delineate the two, but effectively a risk is an event which can impact on your objectives, whether it's positive or whether that's a negative impact. Stay cool, don't let those positive risks get you down.